What is up, gamers? Today we are playing 60 Seconds Reanimize. Basically, I'm gonna get nuked in the next 60 seconds. I have 60 seconds to grab all the shit I have and fucking book it. And if I don't, well, I'm dead. It's that simple. It's really just that fucking simple. Okay, it's Apocalypse Batman. Yeah, let's just wait for this bullshit. Just wait for this bull, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Grab it. Why can't I grab it? The fuck? Huh? Oh, my God, there. Finally, I can grab shit. What the fuck? Why can't I grab shit? Oh, it didn't start yet. Oh, no, room. Fuck, where is it? Where's the area? Oh, shit, over here. Grab all the shit we can and run, motherfucker. Grab your child, motherfucker, and run. 60 seconds is not time. Not enough time, dude, I swear. I don't have enough time for this shit. Bro, oh my god, there's so much stuff we have to grab, though. Grab all the soup you can. You're a fat ass. You need it, motherfucker. Please run faster or something, motherfucker. Grab the board game. I know you guys are gonna get bored down there. Please hurry up. Hurry the fuck up. Grab the gun. Grab your wife. Get everything you need. We are legitimately so low on water. It's insane. Grab your wife and run, motherfucker. Oh my god, please, 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 please. Come on. Put her in. Grab the shit and run, motherfucker, please. Fuck. Please. Did I not get in? Oh my god, dude. Well, that, that's a way to start the video, not even make it in the 60 seconds. Bro, this fucker's so fat and slow, it sucks. Bad smell, toxic fog, just put on a gas mask and keep enjoying life. Yeah, I know, that's great. Okay, we have to plan it out, we have like 30 seconds. Well, that's great. Everyone survived except for me. That's lovely. I thought, I, I thought since I died, it was just over. You perished. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Since I died, it was over. Day survived one. Successful. Ex okay, that, bro, that that's great. That's great. I'm I'm the best at this game, guys. Straight up, straight up. Dollar line. Everyone survived except for me, of course. Oh, should work. Be. Let me store up for seven hundred and thirty-seven years. My ass, dude. There's no fucking way. Ted's a fat ass. Dolores is skinny. His son's real skinny. But she's got the mom's in there because he's got the red hair. The daughter did not look out as good. She fucking looks like his fa her father. She's fat like her father. No, she's not. Not good. Oh, shit, that's nice. She's right there. Holy shit, this is a lot better spot. So I can't move him or anything. Okay, we're about to start. Okay, we're gonna go here, here. Oh, motherfucker. God, I'm so slow. Come on, hurry the fuck up. You gotta be fast with this shit. Faster, motherfucker, please. Okay, right after this, we're gonna start grabbing people with water and shit. Please, motherfucker. It's already been 60 seconds. This is so bad. This is actually so bad. Bro, hurry the fuck up. Wait, oh my god, I have to click. Put him in. Dude, what the fuck? We have a bunch of weapons and shit, but I don't know how much fucking shit we have. And I don't feel like we have a good amount. Grab it. Motherfucker, please. Okay, grab the daughter. Grab the daughter. I don't even know why we want her. She's fat. No. Me and her are not gonna make it, are we? Oh, I made it. I made it. Holy shit, just barely. I don't know if we got a lot of shit. Don't know. Uh, well, I hope we got a bunch of shit. I know we got an axe. I know we got a gas mask, which is good. We got a decent amount of water and food, right? I believe so. Day one. Oh, we got a lot of- Oh, we got a lot of food and shit. Hmm. Okay. All of us made it into the shelter just a second ago before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we are all together, we can make it work down here. We remember- We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. 
We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really look, work in your favor. One ammo. Our shelves are full of cans. We can eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of, some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is, this is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of slot supplies. Four of us? Not really. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna eat anything. Always thought it could be much better. That was before we got nuked. Now we think life could be much better in a way that not much has changed. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's lovely that we all got nuked to death. So yeah. Uh, hopefully I don't die from one. It's been one day, Ted. The fuck are you doing, bro? You got a fucking beard already, Jesus. Who knows, maybe the new world will offer new opportunities, and it won't be that bad. It's gonna be pretty fucking bad, because you just got nuked. Ted seems to be doing alright, even though the world has gone to a, sh a crappy place. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no, no, trouble, no, no trouble dared to cross her path. If there was anything to report about Dolores, this is where we would have been written. Would have, it would have been written. Like the good scout he is, Timmy is making the best out of this situation. He even seems cheerful. Timmy, you seem cheerful about being in a literal cylinder that... I, how the fuck do you guys even have lights? I wish it was fucking dark. Timmy needs to get rid of his stuff. Okay, we're gonna go one more day without feeding them, and then we'll feed them tomorrow. Ted seems really good in shape. Dora's is so confident we also, she will survive outside. Dolores, you ain't surviving a nuclear wasteland. Wasteland is no match for Mary Jane. Timmy can do it. Timmy can go to the wasteland. Should we start... No. No fucking way. We've been wondering what happened to uncle Brian? he would have should have been far from where the bombs fell but no one knows for sure it'd be great to find out always looked on the bright side of life life so maybe we should too because not that easy yeah you got nuked don't look at the bright side of life you got nuked say didn't we have a photo of him talking away one of the folks at home too bad we don't have that oh that's what that is we should have got this guy Okay, day three, uh, I don't know what that ticking sound is, but, uh, I'm gonna give him water. Okay. And so we are left with no foes, no news, and no happy thoughts. The world is too cruel. Ted should drink something soon. We can spare some water for Mary Jane. Has been asking about it all day. The horse will not be lasting long without water. We can't leave. Okay, yeah, yeah, So we need water today. Yeah, does everyone have water? Ted is happy to risk his life in the wasteland. Of course, for Mary Jane is Okay. Guys, you're not going out, okay? It just got nuked three days ago. Are you guys fucking insane? Jesus, and what's that ticking noise? Oh, okay, now we're starving. Ugh, there's nothing here. Maybe if we try really hard, we can hear the neighbors in their shelter. Ted is no longer thirsty. Ted is really tired. Mary Jane's no longer thirsty. Mary Jane's really tired. Dolores is no longer thirsty. Dolores. Okay, they're not even hungry. So we're just gonna skip that. This should be fine. The contain okay there's honestly we should probably feed them just so they get in better condition because we want to send them on an expedition at one point we had previous visitors today one of them was making sound got it no guys get some sleep i know there's not a bed but sleep on the floor Ugh. they're still looking like dog shit here Although we tried to decline politely, the guests we clearly offended, they galloped away, waving their wooden swords, screaming something about cutting down shrubbies. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, they sound batshit insane. Ted is might, mighty tired and needs some more time to recover strength. They're sleepy all the time. She has no energy for anything. Don't explain. Complains. She still can't get a good night's sleep around here. Okay. You guys are just going to get used to it. I'm not going to lie. That's why they look like that. I thought they were like all skinny or some shit. It's so easy to escalate silly arguments at close quarters. Doesn't help. We're chatting and then suddenly we're fighting and fighting. Let's just hope we'll get this over with soon. Not getting shit over us soon. It's a fucking nuclear wasteland. You insane? Okay, we should be good, right? Okay, they're all in still in shitty condition. Why are they in shitty condition? Play checkers. You guys have checkers for a reason. Yes. 
we could barely sleep. After all that arguing, let's hope this won't happen again. Ted is mighty tired and needs more time to recover his strength. Where's water when Ted needs it? Mary Jane is still tired. Let's give her some time to recover. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Doris complains she still can't get a good night's sleep around here. Doris has something has to drink sometimes. Timmy ain't complaining about it, so we ain't getting shit. <laughs> It's really weird when you get the feeling that something is watching you. Our shelter is tiny, but this has been bugging us for a while. We checked all the closet. There's no one hiding. There's something alive down here besides us. Maybe a rodent of some kind. So we need to show it that we are the dominant species. This low paradise. And this ain't paradise. You guys are in a fucking hellhole. How the fuck are you guys in this bad shape? It's been legitimately seven days. This is actually sad. Okay, when the fuck? Okay. Okay. Whatever it is it is what it's not dead now, quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere. One of those nasty little holes. Ted still hasn't recovered his energy. Ted isn't thirsty anymore. Mary Jane is still tired. Let's give her some time to recover. Lawrence is still tired. Can't seem to sleep it off to us. No longer hungry. Okay. Timmy needs to rest a bit longer. Can we We need to give him water now. Yeah, I got you. Timmy get here, everyone gets food, Timmy gets water and food because he's starving to death. Don't be a bunch of bitches about it. Should be start preparing for an expedition tomorrow. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. You suspect there's something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe they got sucked around. We need to investigate. Where are we going? Bug spray, I guess. I didn't realize we just had bug spray down here. Day eight. Oh. Shit, Ted's in a way better condition. Okay, Ted, you're going out. Okay, we decided to spray the hell out of that. The vent, just to be on the safe side, turned out it was the right thing to do. A couple of mute insects fell out, and followed by a gust of fresh air. Dolores needs to be, needs more time to rest. She seems exhausted. Timmy still hasn't rested. Timmy, so Ted is rested. Mary Jane is rested. Okay, so if we want to go, we can. Everyone had food. We should be good without water. We're going to sit. Ooh. Honestly, honestly, I feel like we should... How do I select someone? Okay, well, whatever. Does anyone? Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't have shit. We can't get rescued, guys. Okay, it's day nine. You guys should be feeling thirsty right now. If there's one thing to do is use a radio on a regular basis to catch an emergency broadcast that might even be transmitting in our area, it's either that or strolling around outside. We need to get picked up. The first option sounds a bit more sense. Laura's complaining she still can't get good night's sleep around here. Dolores says to drink sometimes. Timmy still hasn't rested. Where is the water when Ted needs it? Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. Okay, everyone gets water. Timmy gets food again because he's still fucking. Who wants to take outside? Who should go outside? Hmm. Okay, we're sending Mary Jane. You get a. Uh, You're gonna get a gas mask, just so you don't die, but you don't get anything else, apparently. Acquire radio and make it for further contact. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that is, but let's hope it's not anything bad. Okay, I already did all this. Preparing for this since yesterday, if you're ready to go right now, who should be looking the adventure outside? Mary Jane, because uh, she's kind of just taking up space, honestly. Mary Jane's gonna be back in like four days. She should be fine. We gave her, oh, we should have given her food. Okay. Mary Jane has gone outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Equipment. Dolores is still tiring. Hadn't seemed to sleep it off. Dolores is no longer thirsty too. And he still hasn't rested. Ted isn't thirsty anymore. Okay. No one's eating or drinking today. Timmy, go to bed, motherfucker. You have, we've been giving you so much shit. Damn. We've had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. How are a phone booth on our street survive the bonds of how it seems ringing right now? Should we send... Yeah, Timmy, get the fuck out of here. You're a fucking waste of space. Give your parents some time to, you know, do stuff. Ooh! Timmy, you're finally back in good condition, fucking bastard. Timmy is rested, Dolores is rested, Ted is fine. When we answer the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill. We had started exchanging information. The call 
it was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. To us. Okay. Uh, no, no one gets food. Trade. Trade alerts. Only salvage palm books are mostly harmless signs, but however, some of them don't feature the brave Astro Citizen program. But cosmonauts. The boy is eating up Soviet propaganda with a disgrace. We should bash him into the wasteland for his traitorish ways and dispose of his blast. Did you just say you want to send your son out into the wasteland for having comic books about fucking communism? Okay, I know communism's all fucked up and all, but are you insane? Are you batshit insane, okay? It's been 11 days. You don't banish your son to hell over fucking comic books. What the fuck is wrong? Oh, shit. Wrong one. Shoot, fucking damn. Imagine if they didn't have a second option. When he starts trying to rule over with communism, then we banish him to the wasteland. Until then, we're keeping him. We are graciously allowed to him to stay in the shelter. By his actions, to believe in the power of rehabilitation and second chances. Also, we're running out of toilet paper, and these progress will do nicely. All Ted wishes for a few drops of water. There has to be some water left. Dolores should get some, some water for him. It would be nice. Yeah, you guys get water. Okay. Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He claimed to be you. He claimed he used to be an accountant, but now he survives as a trader and a gambler. He offered us a card game for a bet of two water bottles. Shall we play? Are you insane? We're good on water, dude. I don't fucking see why we have to have water all the fucking time. A bunch of fat bastards. Where the fuck is your daughter gonna come back? Um, here, we'll have some soup today. We're good. Uh, the other day we heard a quiet knock on the door. We opened it. We only found a suitcase on the doorstep. There's no one around. It is inside. Sure's luck meant for us. Should we check what's inside? Fuck it. Why not? What's inside? Imagine it's a bomb or some shit or like some fucking rat rabies dog or some shit. What was inside? Oh. That's great. It was an innocent looking bottle of water, so he took a sip. We thought it, we got lucky, but it was a lie. Either the water isn't irradiated, or it was some kind of biological way that made us all feel pretty sick, or was no longer hungry, came down with sickness, Ted is fine. No news, it's good news. There was nothing going on with Timmy. Yes. Dolores, you'll get water. You'll get water. No, wait. Here, we'll give you food and water, since we have a bit extra left anyway. We know very little about what's going on outside. Yeah, whatever. Just wait for your fucking daughter to come back if she ever does. Okay, finally she's back. Jesus, I'm thinking she might fucking die. You fucker, dude. Of course you broke the fucking thing. Ooh, well we got one thing. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue of what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Nothing has made us happier than than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. A pile of cars and wreck have revealed that we stumbled across a big parking lot so no car survived the blast away but we went between the wrecks to explore anyway it seems the bomber interrupted someone's picnic thankfully they were big fans of tomato soup and the indestructible cans are scattered all around the parking lot Ooh, we got more soup nice timmy's in good health full of optimism we don't think we're going to go outside okay we will do another one and i mean honestly timmy you're looking real fine to go outside right now Okay, what's next? Uh, we can't do anything still. Can't send out Mary Jane. I would, but she's kind of fucking, uh, you know, sick. Okay. Is there one thing we need to do? It's to do use a radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. Hey. Okay. It's either that or it's strolling around outside. Sounds good, but more saying Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Mary Jane is still tired. Let's give her some time to recover. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Doris is still quite ill. Okay, Mary Jane needs food and water. Ted is great. You got one foot in the grave. He needs to be a drink right now. Timmy's in terrible shape when you give him water now. Okay, so everyone needs water and Mary Jane needs food. Badass, we just fed you yesterday. Okay, we are gonna send Timmy outside. Uh, what to take outside? 
Um, we will give you the suitcase so you can bring more shit. Um, just get a bunch of shit while you're out there, Timmy. Like, a bunch of shit. Give him a suitcase so he can get more. If he doesn't get more, he's fired. Fired from the family. Mary Jane, get better already. Damn. Yeah, there's a thirsty mower. I mean, it's no longer thirsty equipment. Okay, we don't care. Uh, everyone's fine. All right, give me some food. Knock, knock. This is only a prize and confuses us. It means anything good or bad, but we're always kids. No. Don't open the door, dumbass. Man, dumbasses, dude. They want to do everything that's bad. Dolores, get better already. Stop infecting everyone the fucking thing. Oh, you're sick and all that. Jesus. Drawing on the walls more than our... Uh, someone's going insane or anything. The banging stopped after a while, and whoever was behind the door left. We have no idea who it was. Will we ever find out? Mary Jane is still quite, he's quite hungry. Mary Jane is still tired. Let's give her some time to rest. To cover. We can't sit around while Dolores is so sick. Ted is fine. I already sent someone out named Timmy. Been hearing a lot of noises coming from the neighborhood. Our today our guess is that we're the zoo escape and the animals are stopping around. It might have a good chance to have some fresh food. Uh, I guess here we're sending Mary Jane out. I ain't sending myself out, and Dolores is sick as fuck. Come on, you better tell me you got some food. You better tell me you got some food. I don't have waste their bullets. Too bad it's we never never practiced shooting. Every shot we fired in the direction of those animals that looked like two-headed cows was a miss. Let's hope we will we'll be on target next time. That's great. Wasted ammo and durability. That's great. Dolores is still quite ill. We will not last long without water. Thirsty, blah blah blah. Thirsty, thirsty. We should get married. Yeah, they're all thirsty. God, dude. She kept Timmy. Okay. A traveling salesman paying a business we introduced himself as well. One, two, in exchange for that. It's four in exchange for one. Are you insane? No. But none of those deals are worth at all. I'm not gonna lie, Ted ain't looking so good. I've survived 20 days though, so it ain't that bad. But we need food and shit badly, especially water. Yay, Timmy is back. Okay, Tim, what do you got us? You're sick. And you lost the suitcase. Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over hot beverage. We don't have the the ladder, but talking alone seems to do the trick. We are so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and stayed with us now. The sweet, sweet prospect of the government aid. Hey, we're no commies, but centrally planned help during the what? The Hawkless is something we're really looking forward to. Our expedition ex exited the shelter right before the air drops start falling out of the sky one of the food drops broke in the mid-air and now is raining soup luckily for us a few can't survive the fall two crates were filled with very weird stuff why did they bring a crate full of rubber ducks at the least one of the small crates had a few water bottles in it we we're forced to open one of the boxes and found a press of flesh of stinky cheese and gas masks we discovered that eating with a gas mask on our face is not ideal and since we value our lives and our noses we should we decide to take the mask and leave the cheese behind our neighbors from another shelter gave oh nice they said they found it in one of the drop crates but they already had a working radio damn it looked damn it we really like that suitcase well it's gone now honestly worth trade we got a bunch of food and shit the vehicle down the street looks like it's someone that work in progress we observed it from afar who could the owner be we kept our distance for the time being but we may want to take a closer look in the future. This could potentially be our ticket out of here. Mary, Mary Jane's diet. I use a little food, water. Is... Oh, God, Mary Jane. What the fuck, dude? You're eating everything. We can't sit around while Dolores is so sick. There's one thing water for Dolores. Head is doesn't drink anything. He won't last long. Ted is hungry. Okay. So everyone gets food and water. Because why not? I don't see why not. Yeah, we should prepare for an expedition. Oh, is Dolores better? Oh, uh, no, she is not better. How the fuck is she in condition to go out into a literal nuclear wasteland if she is sick? Hey, no contact. We make contact. Okay, never mind. It's out there and they're coming for us. We all need to do is wait patiently. 
the shoulder soldiers with the boring voice was very specific about this help this is on the way we just need to wait for further further instructions and keep our radio in working order we haven't done anything about dolores sickness dolores is no longer thirsty tim is very hungry timmy is very pale that is not good timmy he's falling asleep in his chair he needs a few days to rest yeah that is no longer thirsty ted is no longer hurry man okay who think mary jane think dolores no she's not thirsty Timmy is hungry and thirsty, I believe. Now, I'll just give Timmy water and food because he is a fucking kid that needs to survive. Uh, Mary Jane, you're going out again. You are going to be taking a... Uh, I guess a flashlight? Hopefully, it find, gets her to find better shit than last time. She went out, because Timmy actually did his job. Why is the ventilation stopped? Oh, it's not good. Good. Uh, Doris is still quite ill. Timmy should eat something. He's, Timmy's looking very pale. That's not good. Timmy needs to rest a bit longer. Tess doing all right, even though the world has gone to a crappy place. Yeah, Timmy needs food, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Arm, dangerous woman outside. Fortunately, she's out of hours. She tells us she hunts the wild beasts of the wasteland right now. She's on a trail of giant meets and spider. We're pretty sure she's lost her mind. What are we gonna do with that spider lady? But it's on a leash. She promises that if we help her, we'll. Is that even worth it? I mean, might have to turn down this one. This one doesn't make sense. I guess. I don't feel like that is, but I guess, sure. Being help others when in wasteland, karma comes back. If you don't help others, it's gonna come back to bite you in the ass. The wars is still not good, and no one is worse than ill to me as long as it has the door. Ah, dude, this. Bro, Mary Jane, come back, please. Ever since we jumped out of the fall, we were wondering about her to go into shelter. Where's the lead? It's high time to check it out, okay? another door in the shelter and you guys don't even know where it goes you guys are fucking insane mary jane's back Ooh, she got food and water thank you mary jane oh and she got the flashlight you figured the best way to sure nothing and no one jumps it's out us inside the mystery room was to open, bash the door right open the open door firing when the smoke was gone there's we we were able to as is our operation. The room was empty. We had nothing but the walls. We barely dodged our ricochet gone bad. Nothing made us happier than the site area. James Burns shelter. Yeah. So I wish that I had at least one person. Match quite well. It was a proud looking monkey. Had no idea where it came from. The zoo maybe. It seemed friendly. After getting a few hats on the back. Played fetch and started following us. We explored one of the streets. Our monkey companion ran away. Only to come back a few minutes later and camp food. It couldn't open it itself, but it was happy to share with us. At one point, our expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging in front of us with a stick. It quite quick and ooh, two balls of water. No one was even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those booze lying next to them. Dolores would really eat. We just we can't just sit around while Dolores is so sick. There has to be some water. Okay, shut the fuck up, Dolores. He's falling asleep in his chair. He needs a few days to rest. Again, Timmy. Everyone needs water, right? Ted is not thirsty anymore. Okay, so Mary Jane needs food. Everyone else needs water, except for Ted. Ted's in the best shape somehow, which is nice, I guess. Mary Jane, you didn't ask for water, so you don't get it. Yeah, I guess, man. There is a little fresh addition to our little family, so we need to keep an eye out. I believe it. Believe it, not just today. We know something else on his collar. It seems to be a metal plate with an address on it. It's not far. Should we take a quick trip and see what's sure? Blue shark off. I'm beating your ass, Ted. You better fucking get better. Who the fuck got sick again? How? Okay, no one's sick. Thank we grabbed the cable and followed it to the rusty old truck parked in our neighbor's driveway. Upon the opening the door, we were confronted with two men wearing the bug bones. We were like extremely surprised to see us. They were wired. They wiretapped our shelter when we were asleep, and they were listening to everything we said. We gave them. We gave them hell and marched back to our bunker. We haven't done anything about the Okay. 
Oh my god, these fuckers. Drink is okay. So water, water, food. We're out of water. That's great. That long was opt in. Cross plan. Build a small settlement for themselves, but a lot of them were injured during a recent fight against. Them. Sorry, man. We don't have. We don't have much. I'm sorry. And if there's a raiding party, you guys better come back and help us. Okay. Thank you. Holy shit. Damn. There are just real life secret agents on the government mission. We saw their identity cards briefly. They weren't listening to us. It was the cat they were interested in. They made a request to us wanting to aid them with some of their top secret missions in the future. If we do that, they promise we'll extract us to a government safe house full of supplies and donuts. Hopefully they come back soon. More information. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Where to go for a catch up? Store, of course. Decide that the bombs don't matter that much of our and our favorite store should still be our number one stop for lower trees. We found it. Or we found it. Or at least what was left of it. Most of the foods on the shelves were outdated and rotten. A lot of the eggs were smashed on the floor. Guess what? Soup can't expire until 2015. Good for us. Four plus. We found a shelter with a big sign that read everything for zero ninety-nine cents. The only thing left for bottled water, huh? Expensive. Yeah, I know. There's a restroom in the back of the side. We found like a dead body next to it. A first aid box. I guess it didn't help. Mary Jane's kept fainting. We should find some water. I Drink fast. We haven't done anything wrong with the this store. It's no longer hungry. Okay. And some is running. Tires are tired. To me, it's no longer hungry. To me, should. He's been talking about something other. Nothing other than water. He should, he should drink some. Yeah, everyone gets water and food. Because. Why is that? Ted came in clutch. That's what I'm talking about. Bro is you more useful than all of you. Enjoying the little things in life is important. So, wish for Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter. We got really excited. She thinks that it, with a little. Uh, yeah. Don't know if these are vegetable seeds, but if they are, plant them. Yeah, sure, why not? Plant them. If we get food, I'm happy. If it's a fucking... If it just clears the oxygen, I'm even happier. Hey, boy, it's just not sick anymore. Ted is hungry. Tested. Bro, damn. Ted is just fucking a beast, dude. Very nice. So long, thirsty. Oh, it's just cured from it. Oh, it's no one's thirsty. Okay. Uh, what is it? You were hungry, right, Ted? Yes, you were. Okay. We really need water. I'm not gonna lie. Water is what we need right now, or we're gonna die. Unless you're going outside this time, you better come back. You better come and collect here. You're going with nothing because uh, you really need much. Dolores is actually carrying her weight now. She can actually go She's on her way to the service. Let's hope she will make it back inside. So it's probably Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Despite this dire circumstances and all trouble we're going through, to me, is being very brave. And no one's hungry or anything, so it's good. Just one day we can see it. With Kila, it seems that the whole shelter has been shaking a couple of minutes, and it feels like it's getting stronger every time. This happens here, it comes again, and it's way worse. It's an earthquake. Hold on to something. Are you. Oh my god, dude. Okay, hold on to the radio. We need that. Swear to God, if both of those broke, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm about to beat someone's ass. Oh my God, they both broke. There's three of us. Just grab every one. Why are you guys this fucking weak? Okay. That's hungry. To, if that does break something, we won't must. Okay. What is it? Head hungry. Which, which enraged Timmy even more. He's desperate for a solution. What could be done about this? So you're telling me, you're telling me, you caught your son, you told your own son, you said you had big ears. Jesus, man. I know you, we're in an apocalypse, but dude, calm the fuck down, dude. Okay, we survived 43 days, and this is my first attempt ever. So, you know, that's good. Timmy eventually settled down from jamming checker pieces into his ears. Not what the doctor would order, but it did the trick. He slept well, though one of the pieces is missing this morning. Is it still stuck in his ear? And more importantly, can we still play checkers without it? Yeah, you can. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Or it's all okay. You're not eating right now, Ted. You're fucking... You just ate. And this morning, we usually wish that we should mark the end of our stay in the shelter, but it seems the military has other plans. All survivors in the area were asked to head to the nearby park to chop as many trees as possible to aid the evacuation of Whatever that means, we may as well join the speed. They want to make a landing area for the helicopter, but uh, we don't have an axe. Dolores is back and we are ready. Dolores, what you've got for me? 
We're not lumberjacks and we're not chopping down that park. Maybe another time. We should. We were glad to see the Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. However, the local city hall has been completely obliterated. The other half, however, looked promising, so we went into the investigate the ruins. One of the surviving rooms was a small maintenance closet. The only thing was a bucket pool of water with a mop standing. We managed to fill some bottles with contents of that bucket. It does look a bit funny. We just hope it doesn't taste of soup or something worse. Tud's stomach is rumbling. Dolores would really love to eat something because she's tired. It's surprised how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. Like the good scout. Boys. Okay, so. Ted is hungry. Wait, they're both hungry, right? Wait, wait, wrong one. That is hungry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just eat. Yeah, that's good. We're going on another one, and Ted, you're going this time because you're the best one. No, actually, we're gonna send Timmy. Timmy, it's Timmy's turn. We're we're uh, cycling through, and it's gonna be Timmy. That's gonna be Mary Jane twice, and then it's gonna be Ted, and then it's gonna be Dolores. His poor I was mine. You won't leave. And you won't leave Ted alone. First, he wanted to play tag. Now it's hide and seek. We're both, which are both terrible ideas for such a small shelter. Like this, Ted is in a bad mood. Just wants to be left alone, but Timmy isn't gonna hop up. All right, yeah, charades. Why not? Play a game, guys. Like, what the fuck? Like, I don't see why you guys. I mean, this family's all fucked up. I mean, they're hating on each other. Just like, I mean, I know it's a small and close space for 45 days, but just find something. Stop bothering each other. That plant is still not. I hope that plant's good. This really wasn't the best matchup. One moment, ten, and we were climbing, writing down riddles. And the next, they were screaming at each other, accusing of other. It's a fucking game! Hi, bro. It's bro. Calm the fuck down. Can't get a good night's sleep around here. Laura says I'm drinking some time. Okay, she's hungry. Ugh. Ted isn't hungry anymore. Ted. Ted. Everyone gets water for today, nothing else. Timmy, you're going outside. You better get something good. If you don't, I'm killing you. Uh, you get nothing. Guys, uh, I know it's 45 days, and it might be, like, hell, but, uh, I feel like we should just grab all our shit and go on an expedition and move the fuck out of town. My son, we don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Doris not eat it for a while. The boys complain. She still can't get this. Keep around here to this thirsty anymore. To this no, we're safe now. No, actually, you're good. It's Timmy ain't here. We're good. Our situation is worse every day. We can see the hunger and desperation in each other's eyes. We know with tech cheats for a lowest room, rest a bunch of kids from Bonfell. We also know what kind of supplies are in the school shelter. As part of the community, we should stock in it for in for emergency. So, well, technically, they're ours, right? We should reclaim them in our hours of need. Yeah, be a bunch of assholes. Steal a bunch of food from fucking children. That sounds nice. Fucking bitches. Just go there and, like, Ass, don't fucking raid the place. We had no idea that some of the alarm system or on the shelter door. As soon as we had tried to open it, we were jumped and attacked with those loose bricks and map pointers. They were way too many adults. We were expecting just one teacher. It turns out that they left the children behind to make space for themselves. We are appalled those terrible, terrible teachers. Okay, those teachers are assholes. They fucking dicks. Uh, we're dicks because we just try to raid a bunch of kids to our knowledge, but then it was teachers and they threw bricks at us So we're fine dead. That's fine Mary Jane's uh, fine. She doesn't need anything. Uh, it's not using for a while. So it's, it's more time to rest Okay. You guys are fine. We'll do it tomorrow, dude uh, The prank breeze came down to shelter me. Oh my god, dude And now some of us can, can be I don't care if you guys have a bunch of hair, okay? We're not wasting an axe. Even if we had an axe, I'm not wasting it, okay? You guys need to fucking be like, man. Okay, why is the blood? Oh, because they're getting tired of being soup. Something. Ooh. All ties, plus water is hungry. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Mary Jane's diet could get usable food. No axe, no shade. Maybe another time. The worst would really love to eat something on this place. She only goes, okay. So, just, uh, food, I guess. It's fucking. Indulge yourself, you fast. Are usually green, so it should be too worrying that Mary Jane's plant is a bit glowing. It shines with a healthy greenish color. Right? That means it will be bear more fruit or vegetables or whatever those. Oh, whatever those twisted things hanging from the plant. Pretty sure that's just grapes, man. So we collect them now. Uh, no, we'll wait for like two days. We're not that fucking hungry. We just say, guys, like, I know, I know we're in a bad situation. I know we don't have. 
Uh, we felt like it wasn't the right time to cut the plant down, but we are wrong. It was pretty much crumbled to ashes during the night. Our guess is that it was a new type of plant we discovered and we can give it a name. Maybe it's like three miles short. Uh, it's great. What was it? No, we're thirsty. What is this? Oh, it's a drawing. No, you guys don't get anything. First story, we're afraid we learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell anti-establishment anti-establishment arisenum well, if we're sorely disappointed she insists on our home on home or rather shelters yeah i mean honestly eventually eventually it's gonna get better and society will return maybe in like a few years but your child needs to be well educated for that to happen so during this period of time you should be schooling your children as much as possible and enjoy each other and please don't kill each other don't mess around. What started out as a spelling exercise has quickly found its way to a math revision, followed by short physics course. And they are tinkering with the random object in the shelter. Mary Jane looks exhausted, but we can't deny the stat. JR shelter has improved today. Thank you, Mary Jane. Adios. Not adios, I don't fucking know. I mean, thank you. If there was anything to report about Dolores, this is where we should have written it. Yay, you guys are in good condition. I'm happy. Timmy seems to be a rat, and he was eating our food. Hopefully, Timmy comes back in like good two days, because we are out. Oh, he, he's back. He is back, and we got soup and shit. Thank you, Timmy. <laughs> Some mornings we should feel, we feel a bit hopeless. We shouldn't. We need to pull ourselves together and be more optimistic. Army can't be far. We are. We were so afraid for Timmy. We came back for the wasteland. He's safe with us now. We were cautiously exploring the neighborhood when we got cornered by a scary looking thug with a shotgun. The odds we were in our favor until a crate fell out of the sky and dropped right on the bandits. Like this tiny government did. Thank you, government, for legitimately killing someone with a fucking food crate. It was a food drop once a day. Ooh, two. Ooh, thank you. Government is really on our side. Wait, it's okay. Uh, our little trip to be a sort of. May have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. Think box. Lumberjacks, it was full of axes. We took one. Got this to make time. Bread, cheese, meat, chocolate, no, tomato soup pans. I feel bad for them. All they're eating tomato, it sucks. We, to recover, we should get Mary Jane something to drink. Ten needs water. Mary Jane, it's not. Okay, everyone's water. Everyone gets. Ooh, that's actually hard. No one, not everyone gets food. Okay, we just need to see who's hungry and we'll give them food. Uh, Mary Jane, so we drink. It's water, so I don't want to learn about so only Timmy needs it. Bunch of fat assholes. Don't fucking tell me you guys need water if you don't need water. Uh, high tech setup involving paper cups and guards of spring. They just ring in with our other top secret mission. They surely land us in VIP VIP bunker. Very soon they want us to go in one successful expedition and write down what we saw in the journal. But easy peasy. Let me squeeze you. Okay, we're gonna have to send out Mary Jane. It's your turn. Damn, fucking Ted, you are growing a lot of shit, and Timmy, you are growing even more. I don't see why T Ted hasn't lost anyway. Mary Jane went outside, let's hope she hurries back soon. Richly agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised we'd be back with our information soon. Well, I can say it now. Adios, Mary Jane, get the fuck out of my sight and stop eating all my fucking food. Timmy's very hungry, Timmy's feeling like a good day. He's falling asleep in his chair and needs a few days to rest. Ted isn't thirsty anymore. Ted's like, okay. So, um, you guys aren't eating shit. You guys can survive one day. We're about to start our book club discussion. The only book we've all read. The phone book. We are interrupted by a raptor knocking. We found that it was a group of refugees who survived the blast. Just like we did. They were doing much worse than us. They begged us for supplies with any water, food, or medical supplies we could spare. Uh, how much do we have? Yeah, we can't spare shit. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys, okay? I didn't- I couldn't help you guys. I mean, we couldn't spare shit. Is that how spent? No, they're not. We could tell our guests that we were not thrilled with our refusal. The tired eyes alone were enough to understand how much they need those implies. We didn't- they not bag, but suddenly turned around and left in an unknown direction. Maybe they will have more luck elsewhere. Maybe. Good luck to them. Those would really love to entertain if they're hungry. He's falling asleep in his chair and he's a beard. Okay, you guys can survive another fucking like two days. Receiving an army transmission this morning. Okay, yep. 
We need to work with the government as much as possible so we can get the fuck out of here, please, man. Bro, uh, okay, I just realized they wired our fucking thing. Hopefully, they didn't hear me and Dolores, you know, doing it because, <laughs> yeah, I might have that. Where's the water when Ted needs it? Dolores would really love something to eat. Water's one. Okay. Guys aren't got down with that, okay? Uh, Tim is very hungry. Tim is very sleepy. It's germ. We need it for a few days. You guys are not that down bad for water yet. Every new smell attacks our noses. This little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss, so when a single brick fell out of the wall, revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible scent. We could probably check it. Yeah, let's see what the source of it is. We need to get the fuck out of here, because you guys are gonna... Don't tell me you guys got electrocuted to death. Oh my god, what the fuck happened to you, Mary Jane? Did you at least get something? We didn't get anything. We approached a whole car sleep, beats inside, what happened? We nearly gave us a heart attack. We some crazy ruin a reptile or whatever. The ma this mad, crazy mad creature was leapt out and started jumping over the damn shelter. It was ev everywhere. We couldn't catch it before it, we could do it, do anything. We pushed it off a radio table and we went back in the hole we were We never saw it again. Recon mission was risky, it was business. We had to visit the neighbors that were dicey, even in best of times. Just full of mutate cats and dogs fighting each other. Gangs, all of them armed and mutate and friendly made out of. They're alive, but the agency and fridge for our efforts. We hope this mission were actually worth it. Our bucket is just about due for an upgrade. We're expecting a government shelter to have an excellent bathroom, and maybe even a hot tub. Okay. Okay. Everyone gets everyone has to drink sometimes. Okay. This is just all the fucking food and shit. So yeah, everyone gets food. Hope you guys are happy about your fat asses. God. Okay, there's not much we can do in time bunker. I don't know why my gun is an offer and you guys shot. Ah, you guys are fucking stupid. You guys better not have broken the checkers board. I swear to God, if you've broken, I'm gonna beat your asses. Okay, thank you. A game of checkers and a cup of coffee and a newspaper in it is a all of it 1950s man need. Neat. So there's no coffee down here and there's a paper boy probably got blown up. Yay, checkers. Ted is hungry, Ted is no longer thirsty, we can't ignore Mary Jane's wounds, Mary Jane seems sleepy all the time, has no energy for anything, Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Okay, so Mary Jane needs fucking medicine, we don't have medicine, that's great. We're gonna have to send you Ted, because you're the best one to go. Maybe I should have given him the gas mask, that would have been nice. I mean, honestly, first try, it's not that bad, 60 days is fucking crazy. Oh, what, not 60, 57, I, I wanna go to like 60. We hope you'll be back soon, Mary Jane may not admit it. But we're pretty sure she wants to get her injuries patched up. When Mary Jane is tired, she becomes cranky. She, okay. She's not hungry or anything. Just not eating for a while. Okay. You guys are not eating until you guys are half down in the grave. With the name Freedom, we came out of the shop from outside door. We, are, we weren't sure who claimed to be representing Freedom, but we could not. Here is a group of people who probably are who introduce themselves and probably, probably kill someone. Sure. Why not? I'm gonna just end already. I mean, Jesus, this is so fucking long. You guys ain't dead, so that's great. Day 58, we survived. Ooh. That happened. Ooh! Wait, we got a fucking axe at night. We peeked outside, we were greeted by a group of high school students. They were well equipped and looked like they could take care of themselves. The question was about enemy combatants in the area. We couldn't help them, but they were happy to leave one of their spare axes with us in case we needed to defend ourselves. When we asked why they help us, they replied, it's what Wolverines do. The injury was taking a lot of heal. Should be better in a few days when we should have to get Mary Jane is up to drink or so I eat him for a while. You guys can go one day. One day. There's one two. Wow. It's not worth it at all. I'm not giving you guys uh we have no food, no water. We have enough for one of us. Timmy, please don't die. Timmy, please, 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 man. Okay, Timmy's just barely alive. In the end, we decided her offers were not for us. Maybe another time, if she ever comes back. Mary Jane seems sleepy all the time. She has no energy for anything. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We need to find her some water. Drink water fast. Mary Jane takes it can take a lot, but her wounds are looking terrible. We should do something. Cut it off. Doris is not eating for a while. Doris will not survive. Okay. Yeah, you guys have water and food. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Yeah, you guys get water and food. Oh, no. Holy shit. We almost died. Give him the water now. Oh my god. Okay, we have to give Timmy water. Wait, who's in the worst shape of water? Hmm. <laughs> okay, she keeps fainting. 
Oh, um, we'll just have to give it to Dolores because Dolores is more useful. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck that was, but uh, we didn't get anything, so I'm not reading it. Day 60. Yay. Peace. I feel like Mary Jane's gonna die today. Yeah, no food, no water. Rather rather finish with dinner. <laughs> Call it that. We heard someone knocking on the door. It seems to be a traitor. It's very examination. How about that? Yeah, I don't know what that means, but okay. Checkers. Please give me food or something. Mary Jane's dead. Oh, is that what I'm talking about? Yeah, she's dead. Our we're trying to set about it, the visitor is quite confused. We try to explain to us what animation is. We pretend to understand nothing. It was very amusing until he left with our checkers. Bored household. Oh, God. Fuck, Mary Jane said. Until a group of free people dressed like wizards. Okay. A few items sound like a fair deal, so we kept. Yeah, and a uh, source might have been brought and followed me. Then the food you intend has to be It's fine. Great face, which is our to me is never fast suit. Let's see what's all the talk down. Well, when Nary Jim fell out, has nothing to single drop of water. She's furious. She's starting out of the wasteland. She's trying to sure that's where we got this. And then she gained her water one way or another. She's seriously terrified right now. Day 61. Oh my god, dude. It's no leak. I got nothing. It's Laying around in her pocket, Timmy. Oh no, new to dance. They're terrifying little mammals. Almost gave her a heart attack. She wants them out. But Timmy says, It's a game of atomic ant farm. One of them has to have a rain. I mean, she's an adult. I mean, she's giving me some. And Timmy, it's mutant ants. We don't want to keep them. Comes down to it, we'll just have to eat the fucking cat. Timmy really agreed to give her the ant insects, but once they escaped his pocket, they proved to our other hostile. He won't even bit his finger. Let's keep a distance in case Timmy decides to mutate and grow a manable of her night. Ted is tired. Okay. Let me read this. Let me this you're going outside get some shit for us now please please and uh mary jane i know you're pissed but if you could just come back tomorrow with some food that'd be nice real nice actually okay we're just gonna skip all this we have nothing to do and it's whatever it's gg's we lose we lose Day 65. This is real fucking bad, dude. The risk is not worth it. What if instead of being soldiers, they're bandits or worse? Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't tell me. Don't fucking tell me they just came to pick us up. And there's no fucking way they just picked us up, right? And I just fucking missed it, man. What do you mean? Oh my god. Why why did it skip so many days? We're not giving them anything, at least not this time. We were glad to see the boys come back safely. We had to pick our favorite day of the week. It should be Saturday. Before the boring evening, Saturday. Summer relaxing, birth like Brian and Mary Jane with cookies, so she stopped playing the tuba, gossiping the neighbors, and of course, bowling. It looks like boring have a... There, especially in the wasteland. Or some really... Between dials without water, took their toll to have died of dehydration. Like, water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran out without looking back. It's not like they returned. Hey! I mean, at least we get to survive a bit longer, don't we? This is fucking great. Ted died of dehydration, Timmy went insane from dehydration, and Mary Jane just moved the fuck out. Honestly, it's a GG. It's just fucking... There's night. Yeah, it's just fucking... Go through this real fast. Sleep, we heard it. Yeah, we're just gonna kill it. Just kill it so we can have some food or something. Oh my god, what the fuck's going on out there? Wow, that went bad real fast. More food for you, Dolores. That's all I have. No one goes outside because we are not in condition. Two other people are gone and Dolores is fucking just doing nothing. Well, Dolores, we don't have water for your bitch ass, so just fucking do this shit. If the military comes to rescue us, that'd be nice, because uh, it's about fucking time we get the fuck out of here. Also, I may have just fucked myself, because that was definitely soldiers, and that's GG's. We got a flashlight, that's great. We're just gonna keep going until uh, Dolores dies, because, uh, yep. GG's. How long did we survive? 
survive the Apollo is no easy task. 72 days. Okay, that's where we're gonna cut it because it's been like an hour and this this is I'm fucking exhausted. Well, actually not exhausted, just burnt the fuck out. Huh. Well, I mean, damn. At least Dolores and Ted survived. I mean, died together, and uh let's hope that um Timmy and Mary Jane are doing good because they fucking moved out like a bunch of bricks. Well, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe and until next time, gamers, GG's. Have a good day. This fucking unbelievable. Bro, how the fuck? Took me 72 fucking days to die. That's insane. Bro, no, what's insane is that fucking Timmy, Dolores, and everyone just fucking, just fucking trolling. Trolling my Elon motherfucker. Trolling! GG's. Peace out.